As Election Day approaches, New Hampshire voters proudly show their support for candidates with signs posted on lawns in almost every neighborhood. But there is a growing problem in Londonderry. In the past few weeks leading up to the election, we've had an uptick in uh, vandalized signs and signs being stolen out of people's property. I feel like there's been an uptick this year leading up to the uh, election cycle. This is happening in other communities across the state. We've had viewers reach out to us from Manchester and Ware reporting both Biden and Trump signs being stolen. According to a post on the Hollis Police Department's Facebook page, they're seeing a similar issue in their town. The chief's post says in part, although you may not approve of or support the name of the person on the sign, that property belongs belongs to someone else. This behavior is unnecessary and directly conflicts with the very premise of our rights as Americans and the freedoms of speech we possess. Police warn of the potential consequences for trespassing on someone's property. It is a crime to do that. If somebody has a political sign on their personal property or they have landowner's permission, then just leave it alone. According to a memo from the assistant town solicitor, there have also been several Londonderry voters who have reported receiving unsolicited absentee ballot applications sent from out of state. There was no address as to where it came from, so it concerned the person and they reported it to us. Similar letters have been received in other towns, and police say the New Hampshire Department of Justice is investigating the issue. In Londonderry, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.